In 2006, I wrote an article in the Times Higher where I suggested that we could use screen capture technology for giving feedback to our students. It led to me winning several awards, to being in the newspapers, to being in television, and the idea has been researched by many people since I first suggested that idea, including research that's way better than anything I did. However, the tool that I used has been massively improved, and one of the biggest criticisms was that the feedback wasn't dialogic, but now it is dialogic. I'm gonna show you how the technology works, the idea that I first suggested and why this particular technology can work really well if you want to give feedback to your students. I really do believe this is one of the most powerful ways of giving feedback to students. I've been using it ever since I suggested that idea in 2006 and still today I think it is one of the most effective ways of giving feedback. Really hope you like the video. As always, if you do, please like it. Please share it with other teachers. Please comment on my idea. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. I have put chapters in here as well in case you want to jump to different parts of the video. Let's get started. Screen capture technology allows us to record the screen of our computer as if it was a video, as if we literally had a video pointing at the screen of our computer. So I can go on to a tool. I'm gonna to use Snagit, and you'll see why in a minute why Snagit is particularly good for this. I'm gonna click on video, and I'm gonna click on capture, and then I'm simply gonna mark out the area of this student's work that I want to record. Now, I don't need to uh, mark out the whole thing. I can just do an area of the screen. And all I'm gonna do, and I can even use my webcam, but I'm not gonna bother with this one, is to click on this button here. And now I can begin to give feedback. Okay, Tom, I just wanna give you a couple of bits of feedback on the work that you've done. First thing I just wanna point out here is, can you explain a little bit better what is meant by Delta and Celta? Uh, can you explain what they mean? Also here, I think you made a grammar mistake in language teacher. I think you made a mistake there. So can you just check that very quickly? Just scrolling down to here, I seem to forget them all. Can you explain a little bit about how many words you find that you forget? So if you're studying 15 to 20 words, how many of those words are you actually forgetting? That'd be interesting to know that. I'm also going to scroll down here. Just another little point I just want to make. Asking chat G. GPT. Can you explain just very clearly what chat GPT is? Tom, the final thing that I just want to clarify in this piece is I, okay, I won't do any more. I'm just going to stop there and I can click on stop. That video is now actually ready to play back and I'm going to play that video back now and you'll see that it's ready immediately as a video and I can now share this with Tom and Tom can listen and see me going through his paper and providing feedback to him. So let's just quickly check how that video came out. Okay, Tom, I just wanna give you a couple of bits of feedback on the so absolutely perfect, good sound, Tom can listen and watch. Now, how do I get this video to Tom? There are, I guess, two ways, and this is one of the reasons why I particularly like Snagit. When you get Snagit, you get a place to save your videos. So I do have the option of clicking on File and simply saving this video onto my computer as an MP4 file and then sending it to Tom in an email or putting it into Moodle or putting it into Blackboard or putting it into Brightspace, etc. However, I also have a second super quick option where I can get the feedback to Tom in just a few seconds. Now, if I really wanna quickly share this video with Tom, all I need to do is click on share link and that video is uploaded into what is called screencast.com. It just takes a few seconds, obviously, and then notice it says here, get link. So I can copy the link. Now, all I need to do is share that link with Tom so I can put it in an email. Tom can click on the uh, link and watch the video. But there's something very special about that video, and that's what I want to show you now.
So let's have a quick look at that video. So I'm going to open up a tab and just simply paste in that link. Don't forget we've already copied it. Press enter and you'll notice something really special about that feedback that Tom has now received. So the first thing is that Tom of course can play the video back and listen. So he just clicks here. Feedback on the work that you've done. First thing I just want Okay, but also notice that Tom can leave comments. So Tom can come over here and have a dialogue with the teacher and perhaps write something that they want to say uh, or ask a question or, for example, maybe suggest that they're going to uh, use parts one, two and three of the feedback, but not four and five or something like that. I mean, the teacher could even ask questions within the feedback that then the student can reply to. There's so many ways now that you could use with this idea that the students are listening to the feedback and then they're able to respond uh, in a, some type of dialogue with the teacher. And you could use this in many very clever ways. It's so easy to write a response. You just simply write here in the, in the screen and then click on submit. Now Snagit is actually quite a sophisticated product and it does a lot of things. It's one of my favourite technologies. And if you want to learn more about it, then on the screen now there is a link to a video that will take you through Snagit in a lot more detail. Also, if you go to the description, there's a link where you can download Snagit for 30 days and test it, and also links to buy Snagit, including a link that if you're in education or you're a student, you can get a really good discount on Snagit. And I do honestly believe that it's one of the best and most useful technologies, particularly that teachers can use. Now, I'm going to show you another feature in Snagit that I really like. Now I'm just going to show another feature that makes Snagit absolutely brilliant for giving feedback. And if we go back to the example that we were looking at before, and I'm just going to open up the Snagit player, click on video, and I'm going to mark out an area. I'll just mark out this area here. You can scroll through the text so there's no need to go full screen and it keeps the video smaller. Notice that you have here another button that you can click on and it opens up a series of tools here and it allows you, for example, to point at things by using an arrow so you would have that option. You can also, and this is really powerful, let's say you might want to say, okay, well point one I want to make is here, point two I want to make here, and point three I want to make here. So you've got that option as well to kind of uh, focus on particular um, things on the screen that you want to highlight. And I really like this tool and I think when you're doing feedback this can be very very powerful way of actually highlighting different aspects on the screen that you want to feature uh, in your feedback. Just a super, super quick break from the video. If you do like what you're seeing and you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There is a free section on screen capture videos. There's loads of content on the front page that you might find interesting, particularly if you're a teacher in education. And you can also sign up to the newsletter and get updated with all the latest videos, the latest blog posts, the latest online courses. And we often run free webinars as well. The other thing is if you sign up the moment, you there is a 14 part free course, video course, on using technology and teaching. There are no tricks, I simply send you a video every four or five days. Right, let's get back to the video. Now I've been experimenting with this idea since 2006 so you can imagine how much experience I've got using it and I've also helped various research projects in using and researching the impact of this technology as well as well as writing a few of my own papers. I'm just going to talk a few a little bit about some of the things that I would suggest. Number one, my way of working is basically to read the paper first and to focus on four or five things that I think can improve the paper. There is a tendency when you're using video feedback to provide too much feedback. So often what I'll do is read a paper through and just mark uh, in perhaps highlighting the things that I want to talk about. 
Okay, so now you've obviously got lots of ways of doing this, including, of course, you can use Snagit to do this, or you can just highlight before you start the recording, just go through and decide on the key points that you want to highlight. Be careful not to provide too much feedback because it can really overwhelm the students. We want to use this very much in the kind of way we talk about Vygotsky, the zone of proximal development, providing feedback that will help the students move on to another level. So remember also that you can give feedback on anything. It could be feedback on a blog. It could be feedback on an e-portfolio. It could be a list of vocabulary that you want the students to go through. Now, just to point out, of course, I'm using screen capture technology to make this video, but I'm actually using a tool called Camtasia rather than Snagit because obviously this video is a lot longer and there's a lot more that I want to do in terms of editing and adding uh, call outs onto the screen and arrows, etc. If you want to learn more about Camtasia, I've actually got a free six part course on YouTube that you can access. And I've put the link on the screen now if you want to learn more about Camtasia. Another way of using the feedback idea, for example, is after a lesson, there's some problematic vocabulary and you want to go through the pronunciation of the words or focus on the stress, then this is ideal. So you could literally open up the screen capture recorder, mark out an area on the screen. You wouldn't have to be that big. You could make it fairly small and then record yourself going through the problematic vocabulary. And again, if you wanted to, you could make use of the tools. If you wanted to highlight certain aspects of the recording, of course, you could say, right, first First one, microphone, and kind of stress, uh, you know, mark where the stress is as you do the recording. Okay, really hope you liked that video. Uh, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads of content on the front page. Uh, most of the main uh, recent videos are there on the front page. And if you scroll to the bottom, you can also access my blog. And as I've said before, if you want to uh, sign up to the newsletter, don't forget there is that free video course. I send you one video every three or four days highlighting a different technology that you might be interested in. Of course, you can, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel from here. And if you want to contact me as well, you can obviously contact me from the website and find out information also about the courses that I run. I'm going to leave a few more videos on the screen now connected with screen capture technology that you might find really interesting.